What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Thomas Gallery and today I want to talk about the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. Mm. Now I can't I can't I don't even I don't remember what year this was. I was, I was like in my, my twenties. My mid mid twenties. I I can't even remember the actors in the movie. But I don't remember all thing I remember was the name of the movie. The movie was called Bugs. Not a Bugs Life. Not 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 the anime. It was, it, the movie was called Bugs. And this was by far the worst movie I've ever seen. And I can make a case that it may have been the worst movie ever made. Okay? Here you go. So me and an ex-girlfriend of mine a long, long time ago, long time ago, we went to the movies. And the movies was something that we, we usually did, you know. So, But there wasn't really nothing to watch. I mean, there, there weren't any other movies out really worth seeing. So we said, well, we're here. Let's just, let's just find a movie. Let's just find a movie to watch, okay? So we get to the theater. And we can't. We only see movies that was worth watching. So we we see. Okay, let's just pick one. So we picked this movie called Bugs, right? Didn't hear. I, we never heard anything about it. We never saw any commercials for it or nothing. We just you know just random. So we we buy the tickets. I buy the tickets. Get our food. We go in there and sit down. Talking, you know, people coming in like they normally do. So a few minutes later, a few minutes pass, the, the previews come on. No, the commercials, the previews come on before the movie. We watching the movie, we watching the previews, we enjoying it. Like, we want to see that. Oh, we want to see that one. We know everybody, everybody in the movie does. We set the previews for movies before the movie. Uh, actually watch the movie. The movies you want to see, like, yeah, that'd be good. I don't watch that one. The one that don't look good, so I don't, I don't like that. I ain't going to look good. So, the previews are gone. And... The movie starts. Now, it wasn't like, you know, the movie was good and then it got bad or it was bad and it got good or you were just kidding. Like, the movie was confusing from the very first opening scene and keep in mind, not one thing that I'm saying is an exaggeration, okay? The movie starts off with... From what from what I can remember, from what I can remember, movie starts off with this woman works at some works at a diner, right? She works at a diner, and she gets off work. She goes to she goes home after after she gets off work. She goes home. It's like it's like some kind of like some kind of trailer or something like that. Way like. In the middle of East Jablip. I don't know where she's located, but she's in there. I think she had. I think she had a kid. No, I just think she had a kid. The kid was gone, something like that. So she's in the house. She's in her home, relaxing, whatever. And all of a sudden, this man knocks on the door. Knocks on the door, and. Actually, actually, you know who the guy was? Well, um, Man of Steel, the guy who played, uh, guy who played General Zod. He was in the movie. The guy who played General Zod was in the uh, the, man, the Man of Steel with uh, with uh, Henry Cavill. The man who played General Zod was the guy in the movie. Was uh, was like the other main character in the movie. So he knocks on her door, looking real weird. It's looking, looking odd. Okay, so he knocks on the door. She opens the door. Keep my. It's like I'm like I'm like she's like pieces of movie. So I, I don't remember the whole thing. So he knocks on the door. She opens it. He's trying to tell her. He's trying. He's, trying, he's asking her if she can come in. If he can come in, she says no. Talking, and all of a sudden, somehow he convinces her to open the door and let her in. So she lets him in. They're talking, they're talking, they're talking. 
and she he's telling her his story how he has like some like some like experiment done to him and something some some experiments were done to him and he you know the government somebody that did something weird to him and all that stuff so and what happens is there comes a time there comes a point in the movie where she and the guy end up having sex okay they end up having sex and the next scene in the movie he starts flipping out like he starts acting extra strange he starts he's he thinks he's seeing bugs he thinks he's seeing all bugs and you know things crawling around and he's like he's flipping out and all of a sudden she says that she's also seeing the same bugs because like before they had met she never seen any bugs on that stuff but it wasn't to the point it wasn't until after they had sex that she ended up seeing the bugs too so both of them are losing their mind in the house now keep this keep in mind after they have sex after they see the bugs they never leave the house they never leave the house okay if you sound if if, if you hear me talk if you hear me speak about this you sound confused don't worry i was confused too and what I'm telling you is no exaggeration. It's happening in the movie. You guys should go look up the movie yourself and read the read the plot, and it will tell you exactly what I'm saying. So, the both of them start losing their mind as as the days go by. Their condition condition gets worse. They're seeing more bugs. They're becoming more paranoid, and they're just losing their minds to the point where they think that they're seeing bugs, or they think that there are like bugs planted in their mouth so what they do is they go to the bathroom and they pull their teeth out to extract the bugs so the government can't spy on them okay and it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse to the point where they cover the entire interior of their house with aluminum foil. Now, I don't know where the hell they got all the aluminum foil from because throughout the whole movie, they never left the place. So I don't know where they got the aluminum foil from. But they cover the entire interior of the house with aluminum foil, wrap themselves up, and he convinces the lady that she is not kidding the mother bug i don't know what the mother bug is but she gets convinced that i am the mother bug she literally says i'm the mother bug i am the mother bug and then what those two decide to do they decide to get gasoline, keep this in mind. I don't know where they got the gasoline from, nor the aluminum foil from, because they never left the place. They never left that house. They never left the trailer, whatever they were. They never left us. I don't know where she got the gasoline from, nor the aluminum foil, but okay. They decide to douse the entire house, including themselves, with gasoline and set the house on fire to kill the bugs. Then the movie goes off. Just like that. Just like that. They, now, if you're if what, what I just described to you was the entire plot of the entire movie from beginning to end. And if it sounded like it was a short plot, that's because it was. The movie was short. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can find how long this movie was because this it was horrible uh let's see the movie bugs 
Let's see if I can find this. Yep, 2006. It was a, it was a, it's 2006 called, was called Bug. A thriller slash psychological horror. It was for one hour and one hour and forty two minutes, and they didn't. Uh, I'm gonna read the plot. I'm gonna read the plot to you. All right. At a run down deserted motel, Agnes, played by Ashley Judd, that's who the lady was, begins a tentative relationship with a newcomer named Peter, played by Michael Shannon. He had a strange charisma. That, um, that he has a strange he. I'm sure. He has a strange charisma, one that offers fearful and unstable Agnes a flicker of hope. Okay, she wasn't really feeling herself, but he he got 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 her open. When Peter reveals that the military deliberately affected him with a bug, and that he has tiny insects crawling in his skin, paranoia begins and envelops into a desperate and in. in Envelops into a desperate pair. That was the movie. That short plot that I just read to you, yeah. They set themselves on fire. They 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 covered the entire house with aluminum foil. Set themselves on fire to kill the bug because she was the mother bug that became paranoid. And once they set themselves on fire, the movie was the movie was over. It just stopped. The movie just it just ended. And it just the credits just started rolling. And when that movie came off, every single person in the theater did the same thing. Well, they said, What? Huh? That was it? Every single person in that theater had the same reaction. What the hell? What? That was it? Huh? What? What in the world? Oh. I want my money back. I, what the? What, are you kidding me? What the, the, the hell? Everybody was saying that. People were so mad they started laughing. Like what the? Like wow, that was horrible. That was the worst movie I have ever seen, and I can make the argument that that might have been. Well, actually, there are some other movies that I, that was that was pretty bad, but that to me. Was the worst movie I have ever seen in my life to this day, and I did not like Daredevil. To me, Daredevil was the worst movie I've ever seen until this movie came out. Not, I ain't trying to throw shots at Daredevil movie, but it was bad. I didn't like it. But Bug, the movie Bug, was worse than that. To me, Bug was the worst movie I've ever seen. Won't do that again. So. Man, horrible, horrible, horrible. So, you all tell me what was the worst movie you ever seen. Put in the comments, what was the worst movie you ever seen, all right? Leave the comments down below, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will catch you all later. Peace.